today's video we talk about the topic of belief and why every great music instructor should instill a sense of belief in their students. So before we kick off, please hit subscribe, support this channel and the trombone community. Thanks very much. I had the privilege of studying with the great Ben van Dijk for a year in Holland about 10 years ago. And as anybody who hasn't been hiding under a rock will have seen, he just played his last concert for the Rotterdam Philharmonic. Chapeau, Ben, well done. Thanks for everything and enjoy the rest of your career. I reflected on why he's not only a great player, but specifically now what it was in his teaching that has given him such a, such a high batting uh, record, you, batting average, you might say. Why have so many of his students gone on to similar success? And if I could bo boil it down to one thing, it would be what I might call the Mario mushroom effect. Remember Mario and the little mushroom on the Game Boy? <laughs> Where he rises in size? That's the kind of feeling a great lesson, a typical lesson with Ben would create in me. And I'm convinced in the others too. So what did he do to instill this feeling of, you know, you walk in feeling this big and you come out feeling this big. It's no, as Miles Davis, Miles Davis, Davis would say, I'm no accident. It's, it's no accident that this happened. Ben uh, obviously has a great sense of empathy and also intelligence, psychological intelligence. Uh, for example, I, I'll never forget somewhere early in the year where he explained a concept to me that I should work on and him, him then he then said, if you master this, I'm convinced you can outplay the rest of the class. When you hear something like that in, in such a class, I mean, it's one of the best classes around, you know, then and now, um, it just instills this sense of, of power within you, this, this self-belief. And I'm convinced that's a huge element of his pedagogy. Now, some people would say, you need that anyway. You need, you need to foster that in yourself, that sense of self-belief. I absolutely agree. But at the same time, we're in such an inter interconnected world. The music profession is so interconnected that I, I just don't believe that your self-belief alone is enough in this case. And anyway, if your teachers and your trombone community, your musical environment isn't fostering that sense of self-belief, then I'm not sure you should be there. Just a small anecdote. Um, I was just um, doing a conducting course, which I just quit precisely because the, the main, the main instructor or the, the main organizer of this course did exactly the opposite he publicly said to in, in front of everybody albeit uh, at the end of the day you could say in the social hours he let out the line can you imagine this guy in front of the orchestras um now to me that's shocking that's uh, that completely goes over a professional boundary and just destroys that sense of belief so i don't want to be there and i'd encourage any students um of the trombone of, of any instrument, people are looking for the right teacher to not just get to know the teacher, but also get to know the, the musical environment, you know, ask some questions amongst the other students. Because if you're particularly sensitive, and I would argue that the best musicians tend to be very sensitive, you're gonna want that sense of belief from your teachers and your peers I don't believe in this uh, this fierce competition that we should be 
playing mind games, trying to put down our, our friends, our colleagues, our peers, I truly believe that we can boost ourselves together. And the more we boost the others, the more we boost the community and eventually boost ourselves. It all goes around in circles. So reflect on that for, for a moment. I hope it's helped, um, especially people looking for good teachers. Um, really try to get a vibe. Are they behind you? Are they really looking to push your interests? Or is there a different interest at play? I say thanks to Ben van Dyke for instilling this um, deep sense of belief in me. And um, that's it for today. We'd love to hear in the comments if you've had similar experiences of this from inspiring teachers, or even if not, you know, if you've had uh, bad experiences, um, what were they? And how has it affected your, your search to improve at the trombone? See you next time.